Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to set up our project and begin modeling. So let's get started. The very first thing you should do is create a project folder. You should create a project folder for every new project that you start in Maya. And to do that you go to file project window and you click new. And then you select a file path. I have my file path set to go to my external drive in the Maya 2023 folder. You can click this folder and find a new file path wherever you want. And that is where Maya will put the project folder that you're going to create. And then you, after you set that, then you can name it and click accept. And the second thing you're going to need is a reference image. Here is my reference image. This is the one I'm going to use right here. I found it by searching neon sign on the internet. And then after you create your project folder, you're going to want to navigate to your project folder. Here's my project folder right here. And you're going to want to open up the source images folder and drag your reference image into it. And then before we get started, I want to um, change the grid here. Right now, the grid is only about 12 centimeters wide. And I think that's pretty small for a neon sign. Uh, most Neon signs are probably, I would guess, at least three feet wide. So let's create, the, let's change the grid to reflect that. So go to display, bring up the grid options. And three feet is 91.4 centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and make my grid 95 centimeters. And click apply. And I've just made my grid bigger. And that's all we need to do. And now we need to create an image plane for our reference image. So let's go to create free image plane and then once this pops up with the folder icon here click the folder icon and that should go straight to your source images folder inside your project folder with the image that you put in there waiting to be used select it and then we can zoom out now you can see that our sign is pretty small so what we need to do now is scale up our image plane. I am having trouble selecting it for some reason. I don't know what's going on here, but I can select it in the outliner and get the scale tool. And we're going to want to scale this up until it's about the size of the grid. And that would be about three feet. Now the reason we want to do this is because we want to, when we bring this into Unreal, we don't want it to be so small that we can barely see it. And then you're going to want to take your image plane and move it back away from the origin line, like so. And then we're going to want to switch to the channel box. Make sure you have your image plane selected. And you're going to click this last button in the Layers Manager down here. The last one, create a layer with the selected object. And then we're going to want to freeze the image plane by clicking this little box twice. Now we can't select it or move it. And then we're going to want to do most of our work in the front view. So switch to the front view. Zoom way out until you can see a letter. And I don't need the grid really, so I'm going to turn it off. I was just using it to help me size my object. And then before we leave this video, let's save our scene. Save scene as, and let's name it. And it should be going into the scenes folder of your project folder and click save as. Now that we've got our scene all set up, when we come back, we can begin to model the letters and the other scene objects. And I'll see you then. 